it's in my house. Well, shut the f up. What? Was that the F bomb? Do you actually cook in here? Yes. Seriously, I'm going to vomit. I'm over tired. I can't go boom, boom, boom. Oh, you can't go boom, boom, boom. No. You know what? Not going to be my problem. It's great. I think you're a handsome guy. I could go for you, but don't tell my husband. <laughs> no, we're not having sex, Joe. I'm a sick and tired of it. It's house. Goodbye. Well, where are you going? I, I can't take it. I think that was Greek for I'm getting the hell out of here. And this is Clean House, the show that rescues families from a cluttered home. We pull it all out, sell it at a yard sale, and then match the proceeds up to $1,000. But they don't get to keep that money. We use it for the renovating and decorating. The cleaning, painting, and the organizing is all on us. Now, how do I do all that I do? Oh, you know it's not by myself. There's Trish Sir. She's my yard sale diva. My handsome go-to guy, it's Matt Eisen. And the designer with all the magic, oh, it's Mark Brunette. From the outside, the Keros residence looks like a typical American home. But inside, it's a big, fat, Greek mess. Ah! I want to keep all my junk, because I've worked 25 years for all this stuff. Joan Keros is a full-time volunteer. I volunteer anything anybody asks me to do. Who never voluntarily gets rid of anything. Clean up the house. Goodbye, good riddance. Her Greek husband, John, can't deal with the clutter. I can take it, you know. The mess right now, he can even walk. So he deals himself out of the house. Do it. Their granddaughter, Michelle, is an airline clerk who flies in on the weekends to try and help clean. Hi, but we need to start getting rid of some stuff. There's I too know, much. We're not getting rid of nothing, baby. I call my grandmother Aya because that is grandma in Greek. Joan's daughter Marlene desperately wants to visit more often, but she can't stand Joan's gross kitchen. Um, I just cannot eat in this filthy kitchen. Joan's other daughter, Joanne, hungers for weekly family dinners. Disgusting. But she can't stomach the mess. I miss my mom's cooking, but I wouldn't dare eat in that kitchen now. Shut the f*** up. This is my house. You can't tell me what to do. If I live like a pig, that's my business, not your business. And what's even worse than the trashy talk? Oh, my God, look at this nice couch. Joan still can't curb her appetite for curbside freebies, not to mention her hunger for shopping. I go to the junk stores, I go to the thrift shops, if I find the trash can. Oh yeah, and don't get me started on the dumpster diving. She is a junkaholic. All she ever gets is junk, junk, Oh, junk. I find a new no stuff sometimes. No, it's it. all junk. The harder the family tries to help, the harder Joan fights. Take that sh out of here. No, you it's have, mine. I, I you have so my much junk now. Why do you need more crap in here? Because I want it. This is all my stuff. Shut up. And after 25 years of distress over Joan's terrible mess, I just can't take it anymore. Tensions are coming to a head. I am so tired of this sh I don't give a f It's my house. I know, but Aya, we I need to get this cleaned up. This is Don't ridiculous. No, this is. Clean house, we need you please to clean up this mess. Please help us. I'm sick of my grandma burying us in her junk. This is a pig stuff. <laughs> Sorry, Mom. I want this house clean because I'm tired of listening to them about my dirty, filthy house. Hello. Hello, people. Let me tell you, I don't know a lot, but what I do know is that the Carol's family lives here. They're a big Greek family, and baby, they got big clutter. Oh, oh yeah. So oh. we got... Oh. Hello. Hey. hey. I'm Joan. This is John, my husband. Joan and John, what's happening? What happened? I can't take over here anymore. I'm sick and tired of this house. Goodbye. Well, where are you going? I, I can't take it. I can't I'm take it. I'm sending them to the casino. Go to the casino. I have no idea what that man just said. All I know is he's angry. I think that was Greek for I'm getting the hell out of here. Okay, so your husband is really upset. Yes, he is. Does he have any clutter in there? or is this No, a... it's all for me. Okay. Well, before we go to the casino, let us follow you to see it. Come on, let's go. Come on. Uh, whoa. This is horrendous. Oh. Hi. Oh. Hi. 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 
Oh, Y'all look like a cute little singing group. Who's who? I'm Michelle. I'm the granddaughter. Who's your mother? Me. That's your mother. My name is Marlene. I'm the second daughter. Check. I'm Joanne. I'm the oldest daughter. All y'all live here? Just me on the weekends. So this is just you and John and Michelle occasionally? Yes. Mm -hmm. We met your grandfather. He ran off right at the front door and said he couldn't take it all. And now... I can't take it. I I see why. I try and help them out on the weekends and clean up, but it doesn't go very far. Does that include the fly strips? Well, I try to take those down, but then when I get back the next weekend, there's new ones up with new flies. Do you actually cook in here? Yes! She wasn't an actually eat her food. Seriously, I'm going to vomit. Shut up! What's in my house? What's that the f*** up? What? Woo! Was that the f***? You did not just say that, yes, Joe. Yes, I did. I tell my, what the f*** to do I? <laughs> my grandma has a trucker mouth. It's so dirty and gross and manly. Calm it down for half of a second and make me understand. First of all, how long have you lived in this house? About 40 years. When did you get all of this? About 25 years ago. After we moved out. So the kids moved out and the clutter came in? Yep. What is this stuff? This is all my stuff that I collect because I'm trying to remodel. Are you doing the remodeling yourself? I see the walls. Oh, yeah. See, I was sanding up there and I didn't finish it. (laughs) How long ago was that? Oh, maybe about five years ago. No, you've been doing this (laughs) My mom has been saying remodel for 25 years. Well, do you guys live like this or are you guys clean? Oh, no. Oh, God, no, 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 no. no, no. Well, why don't you guys help her, then? We try. We try. Do you want well, me to show you how she throws her fit? Yeah. Okay, she'll take this and say, Michelle, get out of here! Get out of here! Don't touch my stuff! She'll do that. Ooh, ooh, that's what she does! Uh, this is officially Mount Crazy Olympus. How does your husband fit into all of this? He wants it all gone, too. So he's good for it all to go. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because anytime he tries to help her, she starts screaming and yelling at and him. And stick. And he's just trying to help to get it cleaned up. Well, who called the show? I did. How do you feel about the fact that she called us? Oh, I feel great. But I hate to lose all my good stuff in here. Is this good stuff? Oh, to me, it's my gold. Gold? I think my stuff is like gold because I've had it for years and years and years. And I paid money for some of this stuff. Is there more to be seen? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. This is just the kitchen. (laughs) You heard that? You two haven't seen nothing yet. This this is just the kitchen. Are you telling us to go? I am. You know what I'm saying to that? Casino! No, I'm saying shut the f up! (laughs) What would you say is your mom's style? (laughs) Junk. Okay. Let's be a little more hopeful. I think the style could be pretty simple. I don't think she's, like, really elegant. Okay, so simple. Yeah, very traditional. What would you say? I'm plain and simple. I'm just a plain, simple girl who will hit you with a stick and get in my (laughs) way. Pretty much. Can you take us to see the rest of it? Let's go, girls. Move it out. Come on. Hi. Hi. Where are we? In my dining room. You know, I had been searching and searching for the messiest home in the country. I don't know how I missed this. Oh! Have you ever dined in here? Oh, definitely. Long time ago. How long? Oh, we about 25 years ago. I've never seen the flooring. You can't see the floor now. Well, because there's a giant mattress instead of an elephant in the room. How did the mattress get in the dining room? She sees stuff on the street that people have thrown away. No, ma'am. From next door. No, no, no. no, no, no. No, it was next yeah, door. I know Shush. you dog. Dog. She went. Hey, 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 honey. Yes, ma'am. Why did you get a mattress from outside on the street to bring into your home? First oh, of all, it's a big king size, and I got a king size bed, but I'm sleeping on a queen. When did you get it off the street? Oh, uh, a couple months, maybe three months. Mom, it's been longer than that. It's been, been longer. longer. Yeah. Help me follow. I understand you started bringing the things in when the family moved out. Yes. But what's the problem with cleaning up every now and then? Well, first of all, I try to help everybody, and then when I get to it, I'm too tired. Here's a novel idea. Ever thought about helping yourself? Nope. I'm last. But are you okay living like this? I hate to get rid of all my junk. Junk! Junk! I mean, not good junk! Stop! Junk! It's junk! It's junk, Mom. Smooth. 
Did you have a plan for what style dining room you were gonna have 25 years ago when you started this renovation? They would like a big table in here so we could all sit down and eat for one yeah, time. Yeah, we want all of the family to come in. Can I ask, would y'all come visit her and actually? Absolutely. Yes, if it was would. clean. If it was clean. I can't even remember the last time we had dinner there. I probably wasn't even born. Might you take us to see the rest of it? Oh, okay. come on oh, down. Let's go. Let's go. The rest. <laughs> Dude, whoa! Oh, what are you doing? I'm looking for something that's not junk in here, and I can find nothing! <laughs> this is disgusting. What is this? It's all my savings to get my house all fixed up. No, no, no. When I said, what is it, I meant, what is this room? Oh, it's a den. So why are we standing on plywood? Because I didn't put the rug down or the tile. She hasn't finished remodeling yet. How oh, long? 25 years. Oh. <laughs> what was my excuse? Because everybody would come in and say, oh, I am remodeling. I'm sorry about my big mess. It makes sense when you remodel that there are some rooms full of stuff while you're working on another room. Oh, but every but room doing. is full. I keep saying that I'm... she's going to do it, and she's going to do it. And it I just keep goes buying more, more stuff. stuff. The more stuff. She, more she stuff even stuff knows she it's that. junk. That's... All the thrift stores and all the junk stores she's been to, she knows it. But, but she, she keeps, keeps piling it, it up. up. Can you tell me why? She I love it. Where are you going with all this porta potty and your? She got this for seven dollars and she's so proud of it. This is just in case. Yeah, just in case. Yeah, don't she's think fine. fine. Now listen, I'm a lazy guy, but I'll tell you what. On the best Sunday, watching football, I still would not sit in that. I'm gonna get up. I'm gonna go use the toilet. So, will you put in the yard sale? Yes or no? Give it the f up. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, Lord, does that mean I have to sell a toilet at the yard sale? Let's talk about what this room could potentially be. How would it function? Well, I would love to sit I on the couch and watch TV in here. Like a little den. A den. Yeah. Let's just do seating, a place to watch TV. A relaxing place. Because every time we come here, we can't, there's nowhere to sit. As far as color palette, because I know that you love simple and traditional. Mm -hmm. And did you choose the blouse you're wearing? Yes, I did. Okay, so you love green as well. She likes uh, green. I'm a good painter. I started Oh, so it. you chose that paint color? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't even it's see a, that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's my oh. painting. The remodeling. This is as long as it's as far taken. as I got. Because, uh, you know, I had to watch my pennies. You know, you're a senior. Why'd you buy this singing cat? Oh, because my granddaughter, yeah, she likes cats. Of, that's all her excuses, too. Granddaughter wants it. Grandson so wants it. If you got it for your granddaughter, why is it still in here? She forgot to give it to us. I forgot to give it to her. God, this is just like a huge monkey on your back. It's right there. Look at it. <laughs> and I got him in a uh, big trash. garbage can, and I picked him up, and I... Oh. You picked him out of the garbage can? Yes, she yeah. did. It is junk, Aya. All of it. Is yes, it frustrating for you to have all your daughters and grandkids all looking at you like you're the culprit? Yeah, it bothers me, but then I'm so used to it, so, you know. She gets mad at us. And then she says, come over my and help stories. her clean. And when we try to come over and help her clean, she starts yelling at us, so we got to leave. Well, before you start yelling at me, mm -hmm. I would love to have a chat with you all. Right here, right now. All right. We all excuse us. Uh, absolutely. Oh, I hope Nisi gets my grandma. I hope she gets her good. Up next, I hope to knock some sense into John. Go get me a roll of wrapping paper, quick. Forgive me for what I'm thinking, but I am about to beat this woman with a roll of Christmas paper. Get upset for them picking on me and telling me the right thing. And I know and they're she right. Like I know they're anybody right. Anybody telling her what to do. See, that's the problem. That's when the we problem. Tell Try her what to, to do. do she she is the boss. We're trying to help her so she can live a normal life, but she takes it defensively. Oh, okay. This is like my big Greek makeover. Well, the good news is they like it simple and traditional. Right, but you know what's not going to be simple? Tell me you're not going to ask us to whiz through all this and find you something for the design. Let's put a pin in it and wait till all the stuff gets unearthed, and then we'll decide. I'm done with that. You guys obviously love each other, but it's so interesting that you started collecting and piling up all these things as the family moved out. And all of these things are the very reason they can't come back. Right. Do you see that? Yes, I do. What is it that you want? I want happiness. Can I tell you what I think? What? I think the picture of happiness really is having your family here. Right. Why don't you go down the line and tell her 
what it is you want for her and for you all as a family. I want to be able to come here and bring my boyfriend and my friends over to say, hey, look, come meet my grandma. She's so cool. I want her to clean this mess up because this is not healthy. healthy to live like this. What do you want? I want to come over here and she can make us dinner someday. How does it make you feel to hear what your family wants for you? Well, I feel it's beautiful that what they're saying because they're, it's true. I think she's finally realizing I'm it. I'm realizing it now. Given what they said and what you say you want, what are you willing to do to get it? Get rid of all this stuff and get the house off. And you're willing up. to not go to junk stores anymore? Right, right, right. And yeah, you won't right. holler and yell at us when we try and help you. Right. Huh? I'll change. I think my mom will be able to let go of some of the stuff, but I think she's going to have a hard time with letting go of a lot of stuff. What I'm going to ask you to do, I'm going to invite you to think differently. When you have a minute to go and sit down at that hotel, I would love for you to help her come up with a contract where you outline specifically what you're going to do and what you're going to be committed to. You need a commitment to remind you of how you can live well and what you promise to do in order to make that happen. And I would also like for you to come up with some alternative things, things that would bring your family together as opposed to you going shopping, which tears you guys apart. Yes, ma'am. I think my mom did hear Nisi. What are the two things I asked you to do? <laughs> Make, keep my house clean. You forgot that quick. <laughs> Listen, no, that's not what I said. Let's Contract. see. Let's say it. Let's say it. Yes. You know what? I try so hard to meet you where I am, but I think I need to meet you where you are. Go get me a roll of wrapping paper, quick. Forgive me for what I'm thinking, but I am about to beat this woman with a roll of Christmas paper. Bam, thank you. All right, what was the first Stand thing back. I said? Do a contract. Uh-huh. What was the second thing I said? <laughs> <laughs> what? Get her, Nisi. A contract and make a paper of what I'm going to be doing. Whew, I thought I was going to have to hit you with this. Thank you. <laughs> Thank goodness I didn't have to do that. Do we have a deal? Yes. Do you know when the transformation and the commitment to being different takes place? Yes. Right now. Boom. She knows right now. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Are y'all ready? We are ready. ready. I think the talk with Nisi was excellent. I think the homework from Nisi is awesome because now it gives my grandma something to stick to and I can be like, Grandma, look, you need to follow this plan. I tell Diva, hey, this is the stage of the game where I usually find you out front figuring out your yard sale strategy. Why in the heck are you in the back? So since the Carroll's family front yard is so tiny. So we're coming so, back here. Yes, because okay. of the mythological proportion of their stuff. I thought let's do a theme. You know, think ancient Greece. We'll summon the clean house gods, because Lord knows we're going to need them. Are you feeling all that I'm bringing? And then you Grecian robe. Hey, hey, hey. We'll... Walk with me, talk with me. Oh, okay. I'm thinking maybe Aphrodite. Joan. Come here a second. Okay, Mark. I want to talk to you about the big white mattress in the room. Oh, okay. We're sitting in your dining room. Right, right, right. And as you said before, you found this mattress on the street. I found this in my next door neighbors ready to throw it out. And I needed a big king size mattress because I got a king size bed and I'm sleeping on a queen. Yeah. Well, let me suggest something. There might be a reason why your neighbor put it out. Wow, there's holes in it. Look at this thing here. So I'm going to invite you to throw the mattress out. Really? Because you know, we don't sell mattresses at yard sales. No, I ain't throwing this out, it's just good. You're crazy, Mark, to think that I'm gonna give you my mattress. Hey, Trish, I need your help in here. Oh, hey, woo, you're tackling the dust wall. What's up, girl? This is all of my grandma's stuff from Greece. And it's gorgeous. It's just collecting dust and we don't need it. So you want them gone? I would like them gone. Fortunately, Michelle and I are on the same page. Unfortunately, that means we have to deal with it. Let's let the mattress go to the dumpster. I don't know. I have to think. Think out loud, though. Well, maybe I should say screw you and keep it. Can I just point something out to you? Yes, sir. It's really a symbolic gesture because I'm, it, I'm crazy asking you to get rid of a mattress. You can't even sell it. Oh, no, I know that, yeah. But I want you to stand proud and put it in the dumpster where it belongs and create an opening in your life. Well, 
I guess I will give it to you. You're not giving it to me. You're giving it to the dumpster. Okay, that sounds good. Are you on board with that? Yeah, I'm okay now. Okay. I'm really proud of Joan. Awesome. If I come back here and see that mattress, guess who's in trouble? Me! So your goal is let's get it gone? Yes. And you're going to need the cosign of Miss Aya. Yeah. Aya! What are you guys yelling at? Your fabulous great collectibles. What Michelle's are you doing, like, Michelle? Aya, I know you've had these for a while, but I think it's time to get rid of them. Your stuff that at one point you probably really did take good care of. It oh, just kind of... did, but it just got dusty. It just got dusty for about... 20 something yeah leave it alone this collection that i have is all sentimental it come from a different country greece michelle and i would like to ask you if we could have all of your collectibles on the shelf out to the yard sale oh you'd get rid of everything i have to think look about at that. it it's been here forever you don't need it my grandma's greek collection is nothing but junk how about if i give you some of the stuff I would like to keep some because they're memories of the family. What if we were to say you can keep two? Because I feel like at that point, that's manageable. You can dust two pieces. Come on, Aya. Two, two. of your Greek collectibles, everything else out to the yard sale. Hey. Don't look around. This will confuse you. Wait, how about if I keep three things? I knew you were going to try to up the ante. Look, I want to make money so that we can make the most money for your family I, and the I, house. I know, but may I just keep three and I'll give you the rest? Two, Let's I'm go on three side. and that's all. Do you know what three right now off the top of your head? Yes. Okay, then grab them. Let's see. I'm going to hold it. Don't get dusty. Or and just this one. And that back one. Back. And this one. Yeah. You hold that one. Those three, everything else in the yard sale? Yes, okay. Beautiful, Miss Joan. Beautiful. Trish, with all the stuff that I'm giving you, you better make some good money. Joan. Yes? This is amazing. I didn't think this thing actually worked. Yeah, but it does work. So this is a working phone that you just don't have working. Right. So is this the design? Do you want this antique sort of Green Acres type yeah, sort of Mayberry look? The phone is important to me because I don't think I'd ever find another one like that, and I love it. Do you want to keep living in the past, or are you looking for a fresh start totally in the future? Well, I'm looking for a fresh start. Well, this is a really interesting piece, and even more interesting that it works. I'm thinking this could be great in the yard sale. Oh, no, 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 no. No, Matt, you cannot have my phone. Next, Matt won't let Joan off the hook. I think you're a handsome guy. I could go for you, but I want the phone. The Carol's family is stuck in a big, fat, green mess. Ah! I am so tired of this. Sh I don't give a. F it's my house. I know, but house. we need to get this, this cleaned up. This is Go ridiculous. No, no, no. This. But matriarch and head mess maker Joan has agreed to clean up her act. Okay. So far, she gave up all. With my go-to. Oh goal. yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, did y'all hear that? She wants to make a fresh start. She wants to have a break, but she won't let go of the phone. Listen, I walked through this whole house, and I don't know if I've really been anywhere where the floor was completely finished. Right, right. I want you to have some flooring in here. Help right. you finish the reconstruction. Right. I'm not going to give you a date with my go-to guy. Huh? Mm hmm But I am going to give you flooring if you start the process of letting go, and that begins with the phone. Oh, no, I can't. I would love new flooring, but I love my phone. Flooring for a phone that no, you're I, not I, even I, using. I want the phone. You can have anything else in this house. I don't want to get rid of that. Also, then let me ask you this. Yes. So are you saying that you would be willing to give up everything in the kitchen, all of this stuff I'm looking at, in order to keep that phone? Yes. Everything. Everything. In this kitchen. What do you think, Maddie? Well, if we don't have to fight around all the rest of this stuff, <laughs> and if she really loves the phone, I can live with that. I will keep my end of the bargain if you let everything in this kitchen go, except the phone. Right. Well, thank you very much. I love you. And I love you too, but don't tell my husband. <laughs> no, we're not having sex, Joan. All this frizzing junk. As Joan begins sorting out her treasures, you realize I had all this shit. Yeah. Her trash pile starts to grow taller than Mount Olympus. Her mood gets uglier than Medusa. Shut the f up. Let's get your ass working. And her language gets saltier than the Mediterranean Sea. Hey, bitch, get over here and pick this up. Get this here. 
I knew I had a lot of trash in this house, but I never believed I had so much crap. It's a good thing we got a super-sized dumpster for Jones' king-size mattress. Here we go. Yay! Morning breaks on our Grecian Delight yard sale to find my minions searching for makeover gold. Here, here, simpletons. Show me simple and traditional. I bring you light from the gods. Impressive. Hark, two goblets that are simple. I will use it all except the light from the god, for I am the light from the god. people here we are it's yard sale day now we pried everything we could away from the carols family and we are out here for trisha's yard sale of mythical proportions i right now am channeling the goddess of all things gorgeous <laughs> going to sell some there you go love straight out of the mythological gate we can do eleven dollars right. we are making that money things are flying out of here like a lightning bolt from zeus and remember greece is the word. Including Jones Kitchenware. Are you interested in this fine cutlery? I am. You want a little Star Wars and some magical Santa? We'll do these for $4 each. Shake on it, sir. Yeah. I got that many, many years ago for my first Christmas. By the gods, it's as old as I am. <laughs> well, what do you think a good price would be? I'll give it to you for $200. One time. I'll give it to you for $100. Okay. I'm kind of glad she didn't give up the phone because there's no way we would have made as much money as we are off these kitchen items. But when it comes to Jones' Greek collectibles, they're collecting dust all over again. And while we're on the subject of Greek artifacts, John is back from the casino. But I'm my wife. I love my wife. She tried the best she can all these years, but now I can see today change everything forever. By noon, our yard sale is hotter than Hades. I'll tell you why the Greek civilization failed. Leather doesn't breathe. Good thing there's a throne to rest on. You sit this, on your leg? You can sit on my wow. leg. Allegedly, Matt has nothing on under his skirt. If she rubs up any closer, I might turn to stone. <laughs> this is the woman who's had these oh, things. Hi, she hi, purchased them for a rainy day. Yes. So okay. she's, looking she's looking for the throne that we're currently sitting on. <laughs> By the way, we checked. Thing? It's empty inside. Oh, oh okay. Potty chair? Yeah. Potty okay, chair. I'll give it to you for $125, everything. Um, For the throne, I'd say 20 What about 40 Um, Any money you can give yeah. will go towards helping her build a beautiful kingdom in what um, used to be a filthy cesspool of a place. <laughs> <laughs> okay. $40? Forty dollars? Forty. By the gods, you're a good negotiator. Kind of sad to see the throne go. It fit me well. Party people. Whoa. Is this pose helping you all figure out how much money it's gonna take inside the house? Huh? Anybody? I don't know Greek mythology. What does this mean? You have to kiss somebody to get them to snap out of it? That's too much kissing. Stop it. Knock it off. How much money do y'all need? Cut to it. Tell okay, me about well, it. Well, the gods have spoken. Did the gods tell you I gifted flooring? Oh, oh, oh well, I'm telling you, I gifted flooring. <laughs> okay, lend me your ears. $4,200. Who says that it runs away? Oh, the gods just added that I need $150 as well, so $4,350. By Zeus, that's a lot of drachma. So our goddesses descend onto the streets. <laughs> Because gods know we still have a lot to sell. Like Joan's Greek relics, her lifetime supply of kitchenware, and it looks like daughter Marlene's gotten into the overpriced animal business. $50. Write it up. 50 but tell her no. Fortunately, John hasn't smashed all the dishes. Ah, uh, this crystal, when I stare into it, I can see the oracle. And it's telling me you're going to pay $6. I believe we meet in the middle. Unfortunately, nobody's interested in collecting any of Joan's collectibles. I'm sorry I had to give them up. I feel sad. This is a famous raccoon, and I know you want it for 100 right? Ooh, 100 I, I like him, but... Not for 100 All right, let, let, let me make you a deal. Okay. How about 50 He's so cute. Look at him. Look how cute he looks on your shoulder. Oh, honey, I love you. 
$20. I'll do it. You don't do it for $20? I'll do it. Oh, I am so proud. Give me you a hug. You not stop me. Thank you. Oh, yeah. my goodness. Girl, I have never met a saleswoman <laughs> like you. Who does that? It's late in the day, and everybody's slashing prices. We do $6 for everything? Sure. I'm a fair guy, you know? Everybody except Marlene. How much is it? $100. One hundred dollars. One hundred dollars. Yeah. All right. You want it? I'll write it up. Wow. Nice. Hundred bucks for this monkey. You've been here. Sold the monkey. Oh my God! My mother got this monkey out of the trash, and I sold it for one hundred dollars. I'm so excited. And just in time too, because everything that's left over is going to charity, including Miss Jones' Grecian relics. How do you feel with the things that did not sell? I feel real bad because I wish we would have sold more to make more money for you people. Too bad because this great yard sale is ancient history. Okay, family, we are gathered together to find out how much money we made at your yard sale. Now, do you know how much money we needed to make? A thousand dollars. Really? Wow, you know who knows if that answer is correct? Nope. Mark. We need $4,350. Long way from a thousand, huh? All right, mythical yard sale diva. Wow! We made $2,637. I have a $1,000 matching money, right? Oh, yeah. yeah. So that's going to take us up. 36 37 Only 7 seven thirteen short. How do you feel about the fact that we're $713 short? I um, feel bad about it. Wish I had it, I'd give it to you. But Listen, when you go to the hotel, relax. Get your homework done. You remember that, oh, right? Yes, yes, yes. All right. Take care of her. Yes. Get it done. I can't go to the hotel because I'm overtired. I can't go boom, boom, boom. What can I do over there now? Oh. I'm overtired. Oh, you can't go boom, boom, boom. No. You, you know what? what? Not going to be my problem. Straight. <laughs> Take it with you. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Happy boom, boom. That way. And that includes all new flooring and a go-to guy kitchen cabinet redo. You don't need new cabinets. You just need to give them a little love. Meanwhile, the family checks into the extended stay America Hotel and they plunge right into their homework assignment. Part one, the contract. I commit to no longer going into the junk stores, trash cans, etc. That's a very good one. And no longer using the excuse that I'm remodeling my house. Okay. There you go. Thank you very much. The contract that I had to commit myself to was very, very good. Because if I screw up, I got to pay $50 per person. And that's a lot of money. Back at the house, more and more new furniture arrives. Trish has some potentially bad news. Well, uh, just when you thought we were done getting our Greek on, Joan kept these three great pieces from her family in-laws in Greece. So I thought you could, you know, make it happen. Hold the phone, people. There's more. I don't really want to tell Mark he has to use that phone in his design, so I'm going to see if I can let the phone do it. Somebody's phone's ringing. Hello? Hello, Mark. I'm Joan's phone. I just wanted to make sure you knew Joan kept me so you would put me someplace in your design. Matt, I know it's you. No, I'm not the go-to guy. I'm the phone. So use me. Bye. While Trish gets started on housework, truth be told, I think I might be the first person that has ever used a cleaning product in this house. The Carol's family finishes up their homework. Part two... Dreaming up family fun that doesn't involve shopping. We're going to get a pedicure, manicure at least once a week, if not every other week. We're going out to movies, but you're paying. <laughs> I'm going to take her out to dinner once a month. Aya, so do you get why we're doing this for you? Yes, Because I do. we want to make sure that we keep you busy. 
and that you're not going out shopping at the junk stores anymore because remember no more junk stores i am going to be able to stop going to the junk stores because i'm going to have a clean house and i can't bring none of this junk in my house no more i believe my grandma can change and put the junkaholic behind her well she better john is going to be a completely different person now i can see that i just hope we have our completely different house ready on time All right, here we are. It is our big day reveal day, honey. So much has happened inside this house, but you gotta wait to see it. Why? Because my big Greek family is home. Hi, hey, Hi. people. Hi. How are you? Hi. Exciting. So good to see you. Are you excited to see oh, what happens? Oh, we can't wait. Oh, we are so excited. I'm so so excited. nervous. Because you never know what's gonna happen to me. You know what? I never know when I see you what's gonna happen to me either. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get your homework done? Yes, yes, ma'am. yes. All yes. right, take one of these and pass it down. Everyone put one on and we're gonna go see something. Right by your husband. All right, give me one word that describes your kitchen before. A disaster. Okay, so everybody, take off your blindfolds and take a look at the kitchen. Oh. Oh. Thoughts. It's so nice and clean. Looks like a model home. No more fly traps. I think they like it. Opa! This kitchen is amazing, huge, big. It's beautiful. You and I had a conversation with Matthew, and you were holding on very tightly to your old phone. Yes. And I said, well, how about you give up everything else, all this other clutter in the kitchen? I did, I did, I did. I did. In exchange for the floor. Gorgeous, I love it. Oh, wow. wow. I don't see it. Oh, you didn't even see it? <laughs> I'm sorry, but look how they're beautiful. I'm glad you love the floor, because it is from Floor Coverings International. It's clean. I definitely am glad that I gave up the big mess to get everything here. Oh, oh, I'm getting in on that. Hey. Can you stand to see more? Oh. Yeah. OK, family, when I came into this part of your house before, it was full of I don't know what. <laughs> the only thing I knew for sure is that there was a giant mattress on top of all the clutter. That's what, in our world, we like to call a hot mess. Well, guess what? It's not a hot mess anymore. It's a gorgeous dining room. Take off your blindfolds and open your eyes. Oh. Now that's a reaction I will take. I think this was as simple as restoring the room to a dining room. Oh yeah. But second to that, this color really honors your love of the Grecian culture. And more so when Trish said that you had a few things that you wanted to preserve and display, those are in your cabinet now. Beautiful set. Trish did a beautiful job putting all my collections into the hutch. Now I'll keep this all polished and clean. The dust is part of the contract. If I see one thing of dust here, I'm gonna be pissed off. Guess what you can do now? No. What, what I'm gonna do? You don't have to run out of the house to go play cards. You can play cards right there. Thank you very, very much, you guys, because you helped me, and I feel good, and I feel young and tough. Thank you. Ooh, hey. <laughs> All right, you guys, we still have one more space to oh show my you. Gosh. Ooh. Put your blindfold on. Slide you right there. Don't let me tell you, when I came into your den before, you had a great big monkey and a host of other things that you were never using. I kept saving and saving and saving. OK, well, why don't you take off your blindfolds and see how it looks now? <laughs> Whoa. Uh, it took a whole lot to make this happen, not only for my team, 
but from you being willing to get rid of all of the things you have been holding on to for 25 years. What you should have been holding on to was all of this right here. And now we've created a space for you guys where you can do just that. Thank How you. does that make you feel? It's yes, great, really great. You ask for simple and traditional and Lane Home Furnishings does that really well. Beautiful. Oh, Thank you. Beautiful. Now, I want to know something. What are the two of you going to do when everybody goes home? We don't want to know. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to relax. I get, I get too excited. I don't know. Oh, my God. Wow. Do you know what happens right now? You get to getting. That's right, pretty girl. We get to getting, and you get to enjoy. Thank you. All right? Come on, gang. Take care of it. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Great job, gang. Well, our work here is finished, and we did exactly what we came to do and then some. For the Carol's family, baby, we cleaned out. When we showed up at the door, John was walking out the door. There was clutter, mayhem, foolishness, and arguing of mythical proportions. Well, we did what only the clean house gods can do. And now, the clutter that was pushing John's family away is no more. But that clean house is going to keep them close. So I know what you're thinking. Oh, Miss Nisi, what about me and my big crazy family? Well, the magic only happens one loud, crazy, funny, Greek, obnoxious family at a time. Oh! Before we used to be a mattress in here. You couldn't eat. Well, don't forget it. They go to the junkyard. If my eye messes up any of this, I will bring out that can of whoop ass. I will never, 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 never clutter my house again. You want to come over and see my beautiful home? Come on over. Every room, you feel very, very comfortable. I'm so happy I called Clean House the best thing I've ever done. Can't believe this is my house. Thank you, Clean House. Oh!